Hello everyone and welcome to the channel Invest and Grow. If you want to become wealthy, you need to do more than simply earn money. The best way to grow your money is by learning how to invest. It's as simple as that. Before starting, please subscribe the channel for more similar videos. Today we are going to discuss about investment. Investing allows us to significantly grow our money over time. Thanks to the power of compound returns. Compounding can be called the eighth wonder of the world. By compounding, a single penny could grow into millions, given enough time. To be a smart investor you need to understand the following, why you should invest. What do you invest in and when should you invest? Why you should invest? There are two main reasons. 1. Beat inflation. For most of us, rising prices of everything we need, is a painful reality. Every few months we see prices going up, and after a few minutes of complaining about this, we accept it and move on. However, these price hikes over a period of time, severely dent our purchasing power and reduce the value of our money. For instance, in 1985, a 500 gram pack of butter used to cost six and a half rupees. Today, the same packet costs 235 rupees. The increase is around 200% and may be more for other items. The word used to describe this increase is, inflation. The current inflation rate of India is on an average 5%. That means, we are spending 5% extra every year, for the same regular products that we buy and use. Whereas our income might be staying the same. It means that 5% of our savings are getting reduced every year. To beat us we have increased our wealth by doing investments. 2. To achieve financial freedom. Financial freedom means the freedom to live the life you want without worrying about finances. You can achieve financial freedom, by having sufficient savings, investments and liquid cash to deal with almost any situation life may throw at you. It also implies that you are debt free. The important thing that we have to do in order to achieve financial freedom is developing a healthy investment habit. Saving money from your salary only ensures that you can serve your wealth. But to be financially free, you must invest a portion of your savings in options that can create long term wealth. As an example, assume that a person save 1 lakh rupees by the age of 30 and decided to deposit the money in, in his savings bank account at an interest rate of 5% for next 30 years. Now let's assume the same person decides to invest 1 lakh rupees by the age of 30 in equity funds or other assets that can as a provide 12% yearly return. Let's analyze both these cases, in the first case, the person gets a return of 1 lakh 62,000 rupees in 10 years and 4 lakh 32,000 rupees in 30 years, at an interest of 5 percentage for per year. Whereas in the second case, the person gets, 3 lakh 10,000 rupees in 10 years and 29 lakhs 95,000 rupees in 30 years. Just by looking at this figure we can understand, what difference it make in choosing our investment wisely. Generally, investors prefer equity-based instruments for long-term wealth creation. It is important to invest according to your goals and needs. What do you invest in? Now that you know why you should invest, how about what you invest in? Let's keep investing as simple as possible. We will discuss about four major market approved asset classes that can provide better returns. When we discuss about asset classes, we need to first understand what is an asset class. An asset class is a grouping of investments that exhibit similar characteristics and are subject to the same laws and regulations. They are working based on risk reward ration. As you may know that the reward for taking on risk is the potential for a greater investment return. Below are the four types of asset classes. Fixed return investing is an investing strategy that focuses on very low risk investments that pay out consistent income. Here the risk is low as well as the reward. 
Examples of fixed return investments are, bank FDs, government issued bonds, etc. 2. Equity investment. Equity investment refers to buying shares in a particular company and, thereafter, holding it in order to gain ownership interest that can be sold later to generate reasonable returns depending on its investment objectives. Equity investments provide the highest return in the stock market. Here the risk is higher as well as the reward. Given the lower types of equity investment. Ownership stake. Direct investment by an individual or owner into the business that he or she owns. Venture capital private equity. An investment by venture capital or private equity funds taking stakes in startups and mature companies. Public investment. Investment by the general public into the shares of publicly traded companies. 3. Real estate. Real estate refers to land, as well as any physical property or improvements affixed to the land, including houses, buildings, landscaping, etc. Real estate provides capital appreciation, rental income, tradable interest. 4. Gold and silver. Gold is one of the most preferred investments in India. High liquidity and inflation beating capacity are its strong selling points, not to mention charm, prestige, and so on. Gold prices shoot up when the markets face turbulence. Though there are phases when markets witness a fall in gold prices, it won't last for long, and always makes a strong comeback. In general, investors looking to invest in gold directly have three choices. They can purchase the physical asset. They can purchase shares of a mutual or exchange traded fund, ETF, that replicates the price of gold. Or they can trade futures and options in the commodities market. Average investors, might buy gold coins, while sophisticated investors implement strategies using options on gold futures. When should you invest? The answer to that is pretty simple. The right time to invest is now. Investing sounds more intimidating than it is? Yes, there's always a potential risk for loss, but there's an even bigger potential for serious gain.